We're gonna see how close we can get to it. You're not supposed to be here, so if you're watching this New York State, I'm sorry. Hopefully I'm allowed in here. But let's go ahead further into this to see what's going on. Oh, and one more thing. Since this thing is not fully decommissioned yet, that means there's still a little bit of radioactivity that may be happening. So as we get closer to it, there may be an increased chance that we get some pretty bad exposure. Let's go in. So here we have huge sirens that seem to be thrown out as a result of the decommissioning. You obviously don't need these anymore, but those are cool to see. They have an old security center over there for people to watch over to make sure everything's right. I'm not sure if this place is still maintained at all. The grass is starting to become overgrown, so I don't think anybody monitors this whatsoever at this point, which is good for us. There's a sign there that says danger high voltage ahead, so let's go ahead. All right, you don't see this every day, but we came across a sign here that says radiologically controlled area, radioactive materials, you need something required for entry, no eating, drinking, or chewing. So behind me, I guess in there, there's kind of some funk happening, and then of course in the actual power plant areas. We're probably going a little too close to the sun here. There's probably actually some active radiation happening on low levels. Uh, so I don't wanna spend too much time here, but this place is like the Chernobyl of the United States. 